Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how we can block several SQL injection attacks using Big IP Advanced Web. F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 4 of the A Web Demo Series, and it's intended for users that are new to Big IP Advanced Web. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to launch several different SQL injection attacks. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request. and can block all malicious requests, and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. Let's start by attempting several SQL injection attacks against the web server. SQL injection attacks are meant to trick a database server. We'll use the DAM Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA for short. First, will attempt to trick the web application by logging and using a SQL injection string. Although the login failed, we weren't blocked, meaning this user input field is vulnerable to SQL injection. We'll now log in with a valid user account, owned by a malicious user. Let's try and exploit the user input field on this web page. This SQL injection attack tricks the database server into returning all the user accounts in the database. This SQL injection string is more sophisticated. It tricks the database server into sending much more data. You'll see that for each record we can see the first and last name, the user account, and a hashed version of the user's password. Notice there's a user with the username of victim. Let's see what we can do with this hashed password. We can search the internet with this value. And quickly find the plain text version of this user's password. We'll copy this password. And then log out of the web application and then attempt to log in as this username using the password value that we discovered. We are successful. Notice at the bottom of the page you can see that we are indeed logged in as this user. We'll now continue attacking the web server, but logged in as the victim. This last example is a SQL injection string that has been encoded. This is a common method hackers use to evade signature-based detection. A successful SQL injection exploit can read sensitive data from the application database, modify database data, or even delete data, or the entire database. Now, let's protect the web application. First, we'll take a look at the virtual server we were just using to access the DVWA website. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. Note that this virtual server contains the default HTTP profile. An HTTP profile is required to protect against application layer attacks. Next, we'll create a big IP advanced WEF security policy to protect the virtual server. There are only a couple of pieces of information needed to create a security policy. A name. The template type which for this policy will be rapid deployment and the virtual server we're protecting. We'll also put the security policy into blocking mode and disable signature staging. That's all it takes to create a basic security policy with Big IP Advanced WEF. Rapid deployment includes several common security measures and includes thousands of attack signatures. 
Now, let's try the SQL injection attacks again. We'll first try logging in using the SQL injection string. This SQL injection attempt is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Let's try and exploit this user input field. It is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. How about this field? This attack is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's try the encoded SQL injection string. Even though this attack is encoded, the big IP advanced WEF security policy was able to block this SQL injection attempt. Using a big IP advanced WEF security policy that took just seconds to create, all user input fields on our web application are now fully protected against SQL injection attacks. Let's view the big IP advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log files to view only blocked log entries. We can examine each log entry to get several pieces of information about the malicious requests and why they were blocked. This request was blocked because it matched an attack signature. Notice we can see the parameter that was attacked and the value that was input by the malicious user. We can also view the violation rating and attack type. This request was a SQL injection attack. Big IP Advanced WEF includes descriptions of the different application attack types. This request matched an attack signature on the ID parameter. This request matched four attack signatures, also targeting the ID parameter, but on a different URL. The last request matched four attack signatures. Notice in the decoded request section, that Big IP Advanced WEF was able to decode the encoded request which enabled it to then detect that it contained a SQL injection attack signature. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how F5 Big IP Advanced WEF can quickly protect all user input fields on a web application from SQL injection attacks. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.